Can you explain a little bit the, the, the title? You probably have done it before, but maybe just for this video. That's what was the fine. idea behind, uh, behind, uh, behind the title for you? Uh, well, the deep field is an area in space that Hubble named um, that uh, is full of uh, newer galaxies. So they use that area to study how galaxies are formed. Uh, and the first time I saw that, uh, it, it was a, a, a number of square photographs that were taped together. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was it's just so beautiful, just this black with these beautiful golden shapes in there. And, uh, you know, it's just so unfathom unfathomable to think about that amount of space and really how large those tiny little you know golden shapes are and uh, I just thought it was beautiful that they named it the deep field as scientists rather than you know C9764 but 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 do, when you think of, of such a uh, space okay uh, when you think of such a space does it trigger certain inspiration because we probably never have the chance to see it for real, but it maybe can trigger a certain amount of fantasy, or, or does it maybe also sadness you a little bit because you will never see what it's really like? Or? Oh no, I'm fine not seeing what it's really like. I mean, what it's really like for me is the way it looks on that. You know, and also, I mean, your mind is so expansive. You can make anything happen in there. Yeah. And I'm not talking about drugs. Just, you know, you just let it go and it, it can, it can go. I just think it's really beautiful that um, human beings continue to quest for knowledge even though I doubt we'll ever be able to answer, really answer any of the questions. People still look for the answers in the infinitely large and the infinitely small and within our minds which is like the solar system. I mean I, I just think it's, it's beautiful because really what happens on the way there is like the stuff that life is made of. Okay. Yeah, I wanted um, to finish the interview off. Talk just about one song uh, on your record, uh, "The Magic." Yeah. I think it's also a little bit about that kind of things, or at least certain questions, if I'm correct. Yeah. Can you maybe recall the the thing that that came to mind, or the, the, the an occasion where you the idea for the lyric was triggered? I think. Yeah. Yeah. That song is uh, is really about um, learning how to do rather than think uh, because I, ha I have the kind of mind and I know I'm not alone that you know can get like stuck on one thing and then then I like then my thinking gets smaller and smaller and then I'm just thinking about that thing and then I'm not living you yeah. know uh, so uh, that song is really about like please you know give me the strength to just get out of get out of my thinking and go outside for instance, or do anything else besides like obsess on something that I have no control over ultimately, <laughs> and that I, I, you know, and that is just going to keep me away from being happy ultimately. But can free. it be? Can it be just one? Is it always one certain thing, or can it be everything? Actually? Oh, anything, okay. anything, and it it really that that song is really um, made for to to relate to any subject at all because I know I could use it for 10 different things for me you know yeah you, you made a video uh, for it as well uh, with you together with three uh, muscle yeah men. yeah uh, what can you translate maybe how that video uh, came to life after yeah, the behind the idea you just explained <laughs> that video I have to say um, that concept is not mine it was the video directors concept mm -hmm. but they sent me a number of treatments and I read all of them and only one made sense to me because it was totally absurd and it was that one. Uh, and I just loved, I loved um, just all those ideas where it's just like, it really is truly absurd, surreal. Like what is going on, you know? And uh, so I, I really appreciate it. The, the director's name is Ben Reed. I think he, he was just great. And I was like, Ben, how did you come up with this? And he was like, well, I just heard the song and that's what happened. And I was like, great. 
perfect. So you didn't want to get caught up in that thing as well to think about that so much. That's right. <laughs> but uh, yeah, for you, the, the song, are you writing together with the, the? Are you writing lyrics simultaneously when writing the music, or can you explain a little bit when you first heard the first line or chord progression for the song? Is that? Can you recall? Yeah, that? I start. I always. It pretty much always starts with the music. Music for me, and then. Uh, and then whatever is on my mind that I'm dealing with at the time starts coming out in the lyrics. So that's what I was Thinking dealing about. with, yeah, at that time. And, um, and, and uh, I'm not sure how it happens, but like it just, certain words start coming out and then I'll just sing the rest of the melody with fake words or with sounds or something. And then it all gets filled in somehow. Um, but it, it always is just about what's happening in my mind at the time. And a lot of times the music will reflect the feeling of what I'm, even if I don't know really what's on my mind, like the music will start to sound like it and then it, the words will come out. They will you know? find each other in a in Yeah, the somewhere in there, in the deep field. <laughs> Thank you very much for Absolutely the time. Absolutely great interview. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much.